Hi everybody, this is John O'Brien with California Credence at CaliforniaCredence.com. As you can see, Multitracker is really good for a full band uh, live entertainment. Um, it's not so much designed for the solo performer <clears throat> who wants kind of a karaoke type of a setup or a loopers and things like that. It's mainly for a, an established show that like a cover band would use and they just need to add some more features to their music to make it sound fuller. So I'm gonna go over some of the things that I've already shared about Multitracker and I'm condensing it into a single video about all the features about Multitracker, which I believe to be one of the most powerful backing track apps for the Apple platform. So firstly, um, let's talk about cost. Uh, Multitracker, I got it for 27 bucks. It's well worth over $100 as an app. Um, and what you get for the 27 bucks is uh, you get to put in whatever you wish. There are no limitations. You don't have to get tracks from anywhere else. You can develop them in your DAW. And uh, also there are no subscriptions to pay. Uh, once you buy it, it's yours and it's yours forever. So you have a backing track machine for 27 bucks that has no subscription and you can do anything you want with it forever. As you can see here, I have um, three uh, iPads. One of the cool things about um, Multitracker is that it's easy to create backups. Um, so if one iPad goes down, which has never happened to us yet, um, but I have a video that I've done that I'll be uh, putting up here for you to click on to have a look at um, uh, how to back up your Multitracker performance. So another cool thing about Multitracker is it does one thing very well instead of a bunch of things. Um, and the cool thing about that is Multitracker is very compatible. So what I have listed here, this is an iPad 11 Pro, uh, third gen. Multitracker runs nicely on it. This is an iPad eighth generation, uh, this one, uh, eighth generation 10.2. No problem, I can run uh, Multitracker on that. This is a fourth generation iPad and uh, running Multitracker works just fine on that as well. Um, I'm not sure about the iPad 2 or the iPad 3, but I do know the technical specs for the iPad 3 are pretty close to what we have in the 4. So uh, the cool thing about Multitracker is because it does one thing very well, which is uh, deploying uh, backing tracks and giving you a chance to professionally mix it on the fly uh, because it does that one thing really well. It's not really a resource hog. So the workflow with Multitracker is to go ahead and use your DAW. So all of your creation of tracks should happen inside of a DAW and not in Multitracker. And that's because Multitracker is only a playback machine and a mixer and so all of the tracks that you put in all of the midi files that you put in should have been synchronized recorded and timed inside your daw and then export it as stems and then you can take those stems and import them into multi-tracker and create songs so as you can see um, multi-tracker has a really cool interface um, this is the interface of a playlist. Um, this is something where you can mix uh, on the fly. Um, I might be able to give you a screenshot and a screen demo of this. Um, and then you can also have a performance view, which is uh, really um, great. You have your playlist here. You can move these songs around. Uh, you can launch them in whatever order you wish. Um, playlist here view gives you a chance that while you're performing, um, you're going to be able to mix this thing on the fly. When you're in playlist or you're in um, uh, the large view, you can be in the middle of a song on this and just jump over to playlist and mix it on the fly and come on back here while the song is going. So once you've imported your uh, tr uh, files into Multitracker, there's this cool mode called song configuration mode, which is what we're looking at here. 
And song configuration mode is basically where you can bring in the tracks, uh, you can mix them. And uh, the cool thing about it is with song configuration mode, if you go into a song and you have a mix and you really like it, and now you're gonna go on to another song, it has a uh, copy where you can copy the mix that you have from one song, load up the files of the other song, hit paste, and it will just simply copy that mix, the, the faders and everything, the fader settings over to the other song. So um, making, a, you know, if you have a lot, of, I think I have 119 songs in uh, these iPads so far. Um, making uh, several songs and mixing them is really not a chore. Once you have a template of a song that you like, you can just copy that mix, the fader settings over to your other songs. All right, so output routings uh, are something that's a very powerful feature about Multitracker. So I have a video on it uh, that you can click on. And um, the output routings is uh, something that you can use on no matter what the, the audio interface is. However many outputs it has, Multitracker will be able to see them all. You can do a right left like a lot of people do where tracks are on the right and the click is on the left to give you just two channels or you can do like a multi-channel like a um, presonus audio box 44 vsl which i do in a video and you can have four channels you can use the um, behringer uh, euphoria uh, 1820 um, which is what we use it has eight outputs i only use that because it's a cheap audio interface and if it on the road if it gets hurt or anything like that it's no great loss we can replace it and then we have a soundcraft ui 24r and uh, that has uh, up to 30 channels um, or at least 24 channels uh, of audio and multi-tracker sees each and every one of those so the cool thing about that is the uh, outputs are something that you if you're working with a professional sound man who like has a um situation where they want to control individual instruments in your backing track. Say you have bass on one track, um, front of house, maybe some percussion. Um, you might have some other things. A lot of uh, guys, uh, sound men, really like to have backing tracks that are split up into multiple channels. And then they have a lot more control over the front of house. So if you're somebody that does more professional events, um, multi-tracker has a very easy time uh, routing all of your audio to however many outputs you need. Um, so in that it's, it's super powerful and ready to go for more professional environments. So another really good feature that uh, multi-tracker has is what's called databases. Um, again, since it's a more of a professional uh, or a multi-musician uh, type of an app, um, sometimes you want to have different uh, scenarios uh, where the audio routings might be different given how many band members are there or different playlists or whatever. Uh, so Multitracker has this database function that can be shared across iPads. And the database function allows you to configure the entire iPad for one type of a situation, or you can load a database to set up your iPad for another situation. Say, for example, you want the click <clears throat> for this show, you want the click and the cues to be combined into one channel, and then so you set all of those to one channel, save it as a database, and then another scenario, you would like to have the click and the cue channel to be separated, and then you can set all your songs like that save the database and uh, so on the fly you can make those adjustments just by loading that database the database will set the mutes set the faders um, setting the routing uh, all of those things so you can configure all of that for differing scenarios and so that that's a really powerful feature about um, uh, multi-tracker So remote control is always a big question. Um, Multitracker can run in the background. Um, it can uh, also be used to launch particular songs um, based on your MIDI controller. So 
Um, I have a um, what's called a, a Witty Master from CME, which throws the Bluetooth MIDI signals. So I can take an, uh, an item like this. I can literally launch songs with a drum pad using a program change me uh, message. And that comes uh, in multi-tracker. I can also use faders to mix. Um, I can live uh, change the mix using faders in multi-tracker. Um, I can do panning. I can do muting with buttons, um, all different types of things. But the really cool thing about it is you can launch songs uh, via Bluetooth um, and you have a ton of control. So multi-tracker has a full suite of uh, controls that you can configure <clears throat> for your MIDI controller. So that's really powerful. One of the things that I used to do, I don't do so much anymore, but um, if we would configure a song or a, a, a show, I would have different songs for different drum pads, and then I could launch songs in whatever order I wanted, depending on which pad that I clicked. But um, the other musicians were kind of um, not comfortable with that. They really wanted more of a, a playlist type of a show uh, where they knew which songs were coming up and they really didn't like me making changes on the fly. So, but if you wanted to, you certainly can. And if you have any questions about uh, setting up a remote device, I also have uh, another video that I do on that. And you can have a look at that um, controlling uh, multi-tracker via MIDI. So multi-tracker is super powerful in that it can um, transfer MIDI uh, inter-app inside of your iPad. So what's cool about that is multi-tracker can um, deploy um, a MIDI track or a combined MIDI track where you would combine all the channels into one MIDI track but it has a MIDI track that can run simultaneously, by the way, uh, software synths that might be inside of your iPad. Um, we also use uh, multi-tracker to run DMX, time DMX light shows. So here's an example of uh, time DMX where we're, the music is coming from multi-tracker and the lights are responding to Photon 2, uh, which is also an app inside of uh, um, my iPad and it's also controlling the DMX lights wirelessly. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So um, Multitracker, again, is, is a uh, app that's really designed for performing bands um, and also can go so far as being uh, professional if you want. So it does a lot, doesn't it? Multitracker is a, is a really, really good app. And for 27 bucks, I don't know what it is now, I'd probably wanna, you may wanna buy it as soon as possible because once it starts taking root, it's well worth even at least 100 bucks. And um, for the, the solo artist who wants uh, things like loopers or more of a karaoke type of a function, you may wanna go with a different app because this app is not going to have a lot of those features. But you can see how powerful it is, how much it's focused on uh, band performances and organized shows professionally. Um, Multitracker is really the most powerful app that I've seen for iPad so far on the planet. 